Hey guys, we're gonna be going over two things today. The first is in our change password connector and that is this Lambda function right here. So we're gonna go over how you might refactor this so you don't have to create a function right here. And the second thing is we're gonna add some confirmation screens, for example, after you're done registering to like go confirm your email and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. The first reason uh, why we actually had to end up even using this Lambda function right here is because we have this parameter called key that we're getting from the props of our connector and not from our form. So our form doesn't have access to directly call submit. But uh, we can switch this up if we wanted to. And I could say this.submit. So I just pass the submit function into my, um, my password view, or the change password view. But I also have to give it a key. Um, and the reason for that is I want to be able to uh, have access to it so I can call submit and also pass in the key. So then in my view over here, if I come down here and when we submit, uh, in my props, I now have access to the key. So instead of doing this.submit values, we're going to say new password and we're going to pass in new password, so new password. And we're also going to pass in the key, which we get from the props, so props.key. Now, TypeScript doesn't like it because we actually haven't added it as a um, prop that we accept. So we're going to say key, and here we're going to say string. And then we also need to update our submit function, because our submit function right now just accepts values. Um, and so you see it doesn't like it as well here. If I come over here, you can see what the value of the submit function is. So it accepts a forgot password variables. So we can actually just copy that if we wanted to. And we can replace form values with that. Um, and then we need to actually import this from our controller. And we have access to it because if we take a look at our controller over here, we actually, so this type is coming from schema types and we exported schema types. So that's how we have access to it. And uh, everything is happy now. So now we basically just moved where we call submit, passing in these two values now to the form um, instead of moving it out here. Now, I think I kind of like the Lambda function a little bit better in this case, just because um, this kind of muddles the water between the uh, this component so now it, it kind of knows that we're calling a a new password and we have to pass in a key uh, it makes it less dumb I want this to be more of a dumb component where it's just a form that gives the values to the next person so either way works kind of depends on your preference and the style of how you want to code it uh, the advantage of this though is we're not creating a lambda function every time this renders so there is that um, and I'm sure there's other ways you could refactor this as well if you wanted to. So that's one way you could. And uh, what I want to do now is head over to the register view, and uh, or really the connector. And after I'm done submitting the register form, I'd like to be taken to a new screen that's like, hey, we sent you an email. Go check it out. Go confirm it, right? So I also want to do this for several pages to have like kind of a screen that says words, basically. So I kind of want to make a generic component that will work for all of these. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create a new route here. And uh, how it's going to work is I'm going to say exact. I'm going to leave that off. Uh, and you'll see what, what that does. So I'm going to call this something like messages. Or I'm just going to call it message. Or we could just do like a single letter slash M. There's lots of things. So this is basically just a prefix to our route. And you'll see why I'm adding this in a second. And now my modules, I might create a new folder called um, generic or like text screen or something. Um, or text page, I guess, since we're not actually building an, we're not doing an app right now. So I'll rename this to text page. And I'm just going to create it in the index.tsx because it doesn't need to be complex. So I'm going to say text page. And for now, let's just say hi. But I am going to console.log this.props. And now that's the component that I want to render on this route here. 
so text page and we need to fix this relative import all right so now whenever I go to slash M slash and uh, I guess we don't really need the slash at the end all right I'm not sure if we do or not we'll have to test it out it should render this text component um, my server is up and running so let's go test that out so now if I go to slash M we should see our high component but because we put exact um, or we didn't put exact I can actually have stuff at the end and notice how it still says high here so what I want to do is to do like M slash confirm and then it shows some text and then I also want to do like M slash uh, you know forgot password confirm or something right uh, but basically a different message at the end here and then we render something a different text message here uh, but notice how we're all able to render that same component because it's prefixed with M so you can pick any prefix here you want um, so here's how we're going to do that so I, I was logging the props and the reason for that is we can actually pass some information to it so in our register controller over here what I'm going to do is add a function called um, change page or I guess you could call it on finish and here is where I want to say this dot props dot history so history is something that we get from a react router and that's because uh, register connector right is a route so we have access to that and now TypeScript doesn't like it that's because we need to add this and like tell TypeScript that this is a route so we're gonna say route component props and again we're gonna get this from react router DOM and then we don't have any matching so we're just gonna say an empty object there so now I can say this dot props.history.push and then I can specify what page I want to go to so like I might want to say m slash confirm email so uh, this is the page that I want to go to and now uh, whenever I finish it should go here but I need to actually call this function so I'm going to pass this to my register view here so I'm going to say on finish it's going to be on finish So let's go over here and I'm going to add that as a prop I'm going to say on finish so this is a function and what it does is return void and we're just going to call this at the very bottom here all right so after we call submit and if we have errors we don't want to change pages so we're just going to say else there weren't any errors we're going to say props dot on finish and this will redirect our page all right so let's try um, oh did I I meant to say this dot on finish in the register connector and let's go back to register so now I'm gonna say Bob 10 at Bob.com register and then we come over here to high now I don't really want to say hi on the screen what I want to say is for example like please go confirm your email um, so in the console I guess I'm not doing it right now but what I can do is I can say I can pass um, you can see the second parameter is called state to the history push so I can actually pass data to it so I'm gonna say the message is going to be um, please um, all right, we can make it just check your email to confirm it uh, to confirm your account um, so you can put whatever you want here but basically this is the message that we want to render so then on my text page over here we can actually access that through the props and again this is something that react router gives us um, because it is a route all right um, we have access to it so now um, Let's come back over here and let's say we, we do Bob 12. We now can, um, when we head over to the next, oh, Bob 10's already taken. Um, there we go. All right, so now in our props, 
we can take a look. It's, I believe, in location. Uh, you have a message called check your email to confirm. So we can say props.location.state.message, uh, and then we can display that here. Um, so I can say const this.props. And again, it's not going to know what location is because we haven't added this as a prop or as a component yet, at least in TypeScript size. So we're going to add that, do brackets, and then we're going to say React Router DOM. So in the location, there's going to be a state. Now, state can be null if someone does not pass the state in. Um, so what we're going to do. And I'm just going to make this an H3 so it's a little bit bigger to see, or maybe even an H, we'll say an H2 or whatever. So I'm going to say state and state.message. So if there's both of those, I'm just going to uh, render state.message. Otherwise, I'm going to say hello. Um, so this is if someone just goes over to this page and doesn't render it. You may want to do something else. Um, it kind of depends on your application. All right, so now you can see we're on confirm email and it says check your email to confirm your account. Cool. Um, so now we're gonna use this same component and we're gonna use it for login. Well, I guess we don't really need it for login. I guess forgot password needs it. I do wanna go into login real quickly though because login should do stuff when it finishes too. So I'm gonna say on finish. Um, let's make this a function. And I'm gonna say this.props dot history dot push and I'm just gonna go to the home page after you log in now we don't really have a home page right now um, but this is something we can add uh, stuff to later so same thing route component and react router dom and let's move that up there um, and then we're gonna pass in on finish And we'll come over here and we're just going to do the same logic as we had before. And we're going to say else props.onfinish. All right, so we're going to do the same similar actually for the forgot password. And if we want to, I guess we can just copy what we did for register because it's almost the exact same. So now instead, we can now just choose a different message and a different location. So instead of confirm email, I might say, um, uh, I don't know, reset email, whatever you want to put in the, the URL. Um, check your email to reset your password. I guess this is reset password. Um, and then we just need to say from React Router DOM Oops Route component props. All right And let's pass that in on finish Just on finish Add the TypeScript for it and then call it at the bottom. So else props on finish. All right, so now whenever we forget our password, it's going to be like, hey, don't forget to go check your email. So let's try that out real quick. So let's do Bob10. Um, check your email, reset your password. So you can change the message to anything you like, but notice how we're able to now reuse this component across all over the place. So that's pretty nice. And I don't have to create a new component every time. Now, of course, you can style this message and make it look nicer uh, to however you like. Um, and then lastly, let's just do one for change password too. Um, so after we're done with password, I want to, um, I guess after we go to change password, and we don't need this little submit right here, um, so I'm going to say on finish. Oh, do we? Uh, oh, wait. Look at change password. I wasn't passing in uh, submit. I was calling this.submit. 
So yesterday when I thought I changed the password of that user um, and was able to log in, I didn't actually change the password of the user. Well, that's really funny. Uh, let's, let's do that real quick. Uh, and try this out again, by the way. Uh, but what I was saying about on finish is I think we just want to take them to the login screen for this um, so they can log in after doing that. All right, so this.props.history slash login. And we already have route components here, so we're good. Oh, this should be history.push. Uh, I want to make sure that I was doing that over here because I might have just typed history. Nope, we did good there. Did good there. All right, cool. Um, let's do on finish. This on finish, and then of course, same thing we've been doing. Come update our form. Update the type, and then call it after it finishes. Assuming there's no errors. So props on finish. All right, so let's actually change the password of the user. I'm actually going to. Um, just do it full, uh, the whole thing. So go through the whole app real quick. So I'm gonna pick Sally at Sally.com, and I'm gonna keep the password as the same thing. So I'm gonna register a user. Tells me to confirm it. Um, and if I come over here, I can actually um, unexpected socket close. All right. So I don't know. I guess it is down, um, at least ethereal. Well, let me see. So it must have. I've been. Uh, I think I registered one earlier. Um, I can't see the history for that. Oh, here it is. So I, I was able to send an email earlier. I'm not able to send one now. I'm just gonna try try it again and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna call this sal at sal.com. Oh, this just straight is crashed. So let's restart that. Well, what I wanna do is register a user log in with him, then change his password and make sure I can't change uh, log in with the old password. Um, all right, so here's my Sal, create that account. Um, man, I just cannot send the email, unexpected socket close. All right, so I don't know what's going on with uh, send or with node mailer. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on with this and then we'll finish this in tomorrow's video. Um, and make sure that change password is actually working. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll fix this up.